Saul Canelo Alvarez has always been big news in his native Mexico. And since bursting onto the professional scene in 2005, he has come close to becoming a household name numerous times. The man they call Cinnamon has been stopping opponents in the ring since turning professional age just 15 years and three months. In the first four years of his career, he had 30 fights for 29 wins and one draw. Boxing is revered in Mexico and a vocal and supportive fan base played their part in booking him his first big time fight in 2012 against the aging legend, Sugar Shane Mosley. Alvarez easily decisioned the 40 year old legend in a performance that opened the way to the fight that was the goal of every boxer at light middleweight at the time, Floyd Money Mayweather. A win would set him up as the biggest name in boxing. Va a ser mucha ayuda para mí key, y yo soy un peleador rápido y casi stronger, la mayoría de la gente se basa en el poder que tengo, power, pero no, really no se fijan en la rapidez y soy un peleador rápido, well. inteligente y I'm creo que va a ser, eso va a ser clave en la But one thing the Mexican didn't account for was experience. Despite similarities in record, Mayweather was 44 and 0 to Alvarez's 42 0 and 1. The 34 year old craftsman showed just how inexperienced the 23 year old was, outclassing the young Mexican to hand him his first loss in 43 fights. Heartbreaking for Canelo Alvarez, but for Mayweather, well. As far as with the, um, my last fight with. Um, Despite the setup, the loss proved to be a valuable learning experience for the Mexican standard, a characteristic that would pay dividends in his future career. Creo que son una de las cosas que quiero quitarme la espina cuando peleé con él. Yo sentía que estaba listo. Yo sentía que podía ganarle. Pero esa noche me ganó la experiencia. Me ganó la experiencia. Estaba muy joven, sin, sin mucha experiencia. Pero hoy creo que soy un peleador más maduro, con más experiencia, que eh, sería otra cosa la pelea. Three fights and two years later, he was boxing for titles again. This time against another legend in Miguel Cotto. It was this week, a decisive unanimous decision for the WBC title that set Alvarez back in full control of his career. As the fans began to plead for him to test himself against the other middleweight champion, Kazakhstan's Gennady Golovkin, Alvarez chose instead to take the Mayweather approach, picking well-known opponents who would provide an easier day at the office. The undersized Amir Khan, overmatched Liam Smith, and son of a legend Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. All lined up to lose over the course of two years in return for a big payday. Eventually, there was nowhere else to go, and the two men staged one of the biggest fights of 2017. The contest ended in a draw, with the boxing fans and Golovkin himself added the Kazakhstan he had won. This is terrible for sport, for boxing. You know, I'm a champion. This is biggest fight for, for boxing, you know, if these Dodgers, you know, like, like today, this is terrible, unbelievable, unbelievable. But the decision set up a rematch and the biggest fight of 2018. This time, there would be no mutual respect between the fighters after Alvarez failed a drug test from their previous fight, inciting a bitter rivalry after Triple G's camp repeatedly lambasted the Mexican. Ya se metieron más allá, ya yes, hablaron más allá, ya me han faltado el respeto y totally. creo que eh, eh, por eso es que ha cambiado, ¿no? Saying. Totalmente. Eh, doing, es actions. diferente, muy Now diferente en esta pelea, ¿no? Por eso es lo que es que ha cambiado mi actitud hacia ahí. Canelo won the rematch via a majority decision that launched him into the stratosphere, making him the star he was always meant to be. It was the last fight of his contract with HBO, and he took the opportunity to steal another move from the Mayweather playbook by signing with streaming service to zone for $365 million. 
one of the biggest contracts in sports history. His demolition of Ricky Fielding winning a belt at super middleweight in front of a sold out crowd at boxing's spiritual home, Madison Square Garden, was the first fight of 11 on that contract. Already a star, Canelo went one further the following year by making his debut at light heavyweight and KO'd Sergey Kovalev to become a four-weight world champion. Canelo is in a position where he can name his opponent and still make more money than anyone else in the game, proving that he is a legit superstar, not just in boxing, but sports in general. Canelo did a wonderful job. Um, he... he uh... He solidified the fact that, uh, that he's a global superstar. He can fight anywhere and, uh, and fill up stadiums.